want to join us for dinner tonight at the Yacht Club. We are doing a new to us <laughs> dining experience at Ale and Compass. Join us today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. Welcome, Royal Highnesses. I'm Taylor. And I'm Jake. And tonight we are going to be eating at the Ale and Compass here at the Yacht Club. We've canceled this reservation on previous trips like three or four times. She never tells me about any of this. I didn't know we were coming here on any trip prior to this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but we are finally doing it tonight, so we'll share that with you. Jake knows nothing about the restaurant. I've never even been to this resort. <laughs> I looked through the menu and it looks really good. Let's go. I just got in Manhattan. Nothing nearly as whimsical as what Taylor got. <clears throat> but it's a good Manhattan though. Very smooth. And I got the Purple Mariner, which is a gin-based drink. I'll put down below all that's in it. Um, it's nice. Like florally lemon. I'd say it has the, the crumb violet in it. Our food's here. It's nice. It it is refreshing, and I don't love gin, but the gin isn't overpowering, so I think it's good. We also got cauliflower. This is the buffalo style cauliflower as a starter. Let me try a piece. I don't want to get like a huge one because that's really embarrassing, but they're all kind of huge. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. Definitely spicy. It's buffalo. But the sauce cuts it. But the cauliflower is like, it really absorbed the sauce. It's cut really nice, or excuse me, cooked really nice. Still, um, still has some crispness to it, so it's not mushy, but it's not hard. So I think it's, it's very, very nice, but definitely has some heat. Not, if you don't like heat, don't get that. We can, we, I got these to share. Yeah. You know I love fries so No, I do. <laughs> the way to your heart. <laughs> Okay, so I got the short rib French dip flatbread. It really looks like a pizza though. This is gonna slap. This is so good. <laughs> it's just everything I want in a flatbread. Um, the au jus does look a little clear to me. It's usually like deep brown. Uh, so that's interesting. I'm interested to try that. And of course, the truffle, I mean, the truffle fries. <laughs> you have to. Take it easy, take it easy. And don't get excited. Oh my god. It's like 200 subs right there. Make that a thumbnail. Okay. I have to dip it. You know, the, I think the only thing that would make this better is a little dollop of horseradish right there. But I haven't tried it yet, so. Maybe. 
I don't know how they did that. It tastes exactly like a French dip sandwich. But like the texture of a pizza crust. Yeah, the bottom of that crust is like buttery, a little charred. This is real good. You can have a piece. <laughs> you can have a piece. And I got the seafood pot pie, which has scallops, shrimp, uh, the catch of the day. I'll put it, it's on, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. This is the flakiest, look at this. Wow, okay. You didn't know, but we're becoming an ASMR channel. Ooh, I got a shrimpy. All right. Nope, I dropped the shrimpy. Okay, this is a huge bite. Don't touch me. It's hot. <laughs> Temperature, not. Uh -huh. Are you blistered? No, it's not that hot. That's so good. It's really creamy. I need to, I want to try this on its own. Yeah, hold on. This is like air. It's literally like eating air. I've never had something like this. I don't think, I, I've made pot pie at home and it, it, it didn't look like this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Obviously you need to like seafood. It's seafood heavy, but like I love seafood. This is so nice. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all of this, but I'm gonna try and probably regret it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. Our lovely waiter brought us over a little, a little chocolate dessert too. So sweet. So we're, nice. We are four months from our anniversary, but that's okay. It's fine. We'll celebrate. Okay. What are we doing? We are sprinting to Hollywood Studios. From the boardwalk. Yacht club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got talking to a really, really nice family. Like, so nice. So incredibly nice. Yeah, Jeff and family. And we lost track of time. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to make our lightning lane reservation. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> that's okay. But that's okay. That was a great experience. That was really, it's that, I think, like, meeting families, talking to people, having those experiences is more important than riding the rides. So, I'm Especially glad that. at this point. We're like, we're not missing anything we haven't done before, you know? Correct. We actually did it this morning. I just wanted to kick Jake's butt on Toy Story Mania since he beat me this morning. But, Oh, well, you beat fine. me in like four years in a row. So. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm winded. Taylor has longer legs than me. <laughs> I ate a lot of flatbread. It was delicious. It was. We'll tell you more about the dining later. When we get there. Okay. We are back at the resort it is much later we had some stuff <laughs> we sprinted back to hollywood studios we didn't make a lightning lane it was a whole experience but it was a learning experience we did learn some things today <clears throat> so let's give our review of alien compass at the yacht club oh yeah let's start there uh Great. I love, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I liked it. I thought the food was really good. I thought for the price, it was a really good meal. It ended up being, I think, right around $100. Yeah, and $100. that was for two drinks, an appetizer, two meals, and a side order of truffle fries. Yeah. Which were so good. Mm hmm Those are really good fries. I think that, so my seafood pot pie was good. But I think you have the winner. Yeah, I. So I. Had, well, you saw I had the <clears throat> prime rib. Yeah. Whatever with the, the ushy, flatbread. The flatbread. Unreal! How much that tasted like a sandwich. He in that pot, that was loves <clears throat> French dip. Yeah, that was awesome. So it seemed right up your alley for mm -hmm. sure, and. The seafood pot pie was a lot. There was a lot of seafood in it, a lot of vegetables too. Obviously it was cream based, so it's, it's heavy. Walking very quickly the mile to Hollywood Studios afterward, really just- Shook it around. Shook it around, it was great. Uh -huh. And then our server was really, really lovely. He gave us a little dessert at the end. He Which... was very excited that we did YouTube. Leo. He was, he was really, really nice. Yeah. And then 
honestly, for me, the best part of the meal is we met a really lovely family sitting beside us that saw us filming and were asking questions and trying to get some advice about Genie Plus and loved the lightsabers. They were big Star Wars fans and they were here without their kids and- Fellow Pennsylvanians. They were from Pennsylvania a few hours away from us and that's why I love Disney so much is you go to these places and you meet these people and it's you're bonding over yeah. something and you never would have met them otherwise. It's so easy to talk to Disney people when you're a Disney people. It's, you know, it's really special. Yeah. So that was really, really nice. So yeah, I would say Alien Compass gets a, uh, a thumbs up. For sure. Yeah, it's really good. I've heard the breakfast is good there too. So, and when we are here, they just reopened for lunch as well. So they're open all day long. If you're at Epcot or at Hollywood Studios or staying on the boardwalk anywhere, it's, it's pretty convenient location. We hope this video has helped you learn about Ellen and Compass. If you have been considering it, maybe we convinced you to try it out. We have lots of other dining review videos, either in a vlog style or sit down reviews from every member of our team that have eaten at certain restaurants. You can get different perspectives of all kinds of restaurants and see if they are worth your time. And you can find those linked down in the description down below. So check it out. Make sure that you like, subscribe, click the bell icon, comment down below. Have you tried Ale and Compass? What did you think? Do you want to try it out now? We want to hear from you. And if you're not a member of our Walt Disney World adults only Facebook group, which our new friends from dinner are now. <laughs> not that we sold them on it or anything. But. <laughs> Make sure that you join us. It is a really great place to talk adult Disney trips. It'll also be linked in the description down below. And until next time, never, never grow, grow up. up.